You can watch the best parts of this series at MedCircle.com. She's the talk of the town, and for millions, she is sparking joy. Marie Kondo, I was a fan years ago, read her book, purged my whole house, now I have all my shirts and a perfect little line in all my drawers. But when does an obsession with organization and tidiness lead to a mental health disorder? Dr. Romney has some thoughts on that. Dr. Romney, what do you think about what's going on with Marie? I'm sure she's a lovely woman. She seems like She it. seems lovely. Yeah. It has caused a little bit of an over-focus on things. Mm. And now while I'm sure she'd say no, it's an experiential focus of the joy the thing brings you is still a thing. Mm -hmm. And this idea of ritualistic folding and having conversations with apparel items and having routines around how you use daily items like shampoo bottles mm -hmm. and stuff, what it does is it does start creating an over-focus on, on material goods and then how to eliminate them and how to account for them. But my concern is could it start becoming very time-consuming and there could be sort of a rigid adherence to these kinds of patterns. And that sort of starts flirting with some of that front end stuff in OCPD, a perfectionism. I cannot have anything hanging in my closet unless it's bringing me joy. And so it's a, you, I could start seeing how this could become a slippery slope. What is OCPD? So OCPD is a long-term chronic maladaptive pattern whereby you see high levels of control, mental control, environmental control, a la one item hanging in a closet. Mm -hmm. um, it's about orderliness, perfectionism, sometimes even miserliness, and a, like I said, sort of this rigid moral style, an inflexibility, a lack of openness to new kinds of ideas, and a, um, you know, and an inefficiency. You don't get things done. And there's also even sometimes a tendency to ruminate. So because of this focus on order that I think that plans like this can have, every shirt has to be folded a certain way, that in somebody who may already be having, tending to have some of the anxieties and the patterns of OCPD, I feel like it could at times be a little bit of an accelerant. And it's kind of like putting fuel on the fire. Yeah, it's like fuel, it's fuel on the fire. And I just am saying, slow down everyone. You know, I still think before you spend an entire day folding t-shirts, mm -hmm. Maybe you want to spend it with your kid or your niece or your nephew or well, volunteering. The, the argument would be, I'm going to spend this full day getting rid of stuff that I don't right. use that doesn't serve Fair me. Enough. And I'm going to get my life organized so then that next weekend... I do have more time. My, I'm That's not fair. controlled by where did I put that or where is all this stuff? I see I have. where the larger, yes, I understand the larger piece. And I think at some level, what she is trying to do is get away from that anxiety of stuff. Yes. You know, totally, I get that. Totally. And we do know, for example, that hoarding is part of, in some ways, because people with OCPD, they, they will hold on to um, uh, useless items, mm. you know, worn out items. And she's arguing, don't do that. Right. You know, they're not giving you joy. And so she created a whole discourse around it. And when we look at people with OCPD, they'll sometimes believe this thing is going to be useful to them down the road. They're not even thinking about the joy part of this. Yeah, it's yeah. more of a, there's an anxiety here. And right. she's probably saying, I'm trying to help you get rid of that anxiety. Right. And I get it. But I can also see how one weekend of t-shirt folding can turn into weeks or months. Mm. You know, and that's my concern is that if you can really make it, this is one weekend and that's all you're going to do. Great. But then I do have to wonder how many people are getting to the point where the t-shirts are folded, everything's out of the closet, the shampoo bottles are put away and people are genuinely saying, now what? Now what? Yeah. Now that what? felt really good, but now yeah. what's the and next thing? And now what thing? do I do? Yeah. And they may not be then, may not necessarily be bridging that gap. And and listen, I don't I don't want to make Marie Kondo a fall guy because I think there's some neat stuff she's bringing. I do think that clutter actually is really difficult for people who live yes. with mental illness, and they're often buried under it because they don't have the energy to deal with it. And some clearing out of space could actually be a clearing out of mind. Listen, you see trends of of these sort of kind of fetishized images of closets and refrigerators and, you know, you name it, everything organized to within an inch of its life. And so we're sort of in an era of sort of organization porn. We are. And, yeah. um, and I think it And I'm an that. avid watcher. Yeah. Okay. I have no. the subscription and everything. I love it. You show me an organized fridge. 
sometimes I'll clean out my fridge and yeah. have all the labels facing towards me of every can of every beer bottle. And I just open the fridge and I just stare at it because I love the way it looks. It makes me feel good. Yeah, but you're, you're saying, good. Kyle, watch it. Yeah, slow down, sister. Slow. <laughs> Easy. Because it could be binding your anxiety. Yeah. I think seeing that much order, I think a lot of people feel disarray, not just in their refrigerators, but in their minds. Oh. And so looking at that organized refrigerator, might, or even if it's somebody else's, might give you a moment of feeling like, well, no, things aren't all over the place. That should come from here, not your fridge or not someone else's fridge. Or you're under you better drawer. preach now. Yeah, I'm, I'm that's, preaching. That's yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so listen, I'm, I'm a little irritated because I think I just got called oh out on YouTube. I actually but did. that's good. Yeah, I actually think Marie Kondo would give up her entire her entire vision if she came into my house. She'd be like, girl, <laughs> there would, ain't no joy like, in the house. I finally met my match. Mm -mm. No, no way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you are mentally healthy. You know, because I am surrounded by people I love mm -hmm. and I love what I do. Mm -hmm. I love working with my clients. I mean, I, I love what I do. Mm -hmm. And so uh, my actually my entire sock drawer is nothing's paired. It's just oh like, I just got anxiety for you. It's just stuff everywhere. And there's sort of a little Are bit Are you of wearing that, matching socks I'm right not. now? Can you show us your socks that are not uh, they're matching? They're like the worst socks. Can like, I please see I actually, them? I just want to see them. Th like one says Reebok and the other one kind of says it. <laughs> one says Reebok. You, look, look, Reebok. Okay, Reebok. Oh my God. I'm like, I'm going to, I'm have, I have so much anxiety. Oops. Oh. And there we go. These are not matching socks, no gang, because they came out way. of a sock drawer that, um, yeah. There is no way I could have done that. Um, yeah, I do it every day. I, they, yeah. So I, I, whatever the opposite of joy is, must be what's happening in my sock drawer. <laughs> because I'm telling you right now, it's a, um, me and my ashy legs and my unmatched socks. It's just a world of hurt. But you know what? But I don't you've never think, been happier than ever. I've never been happier. And I am, I spent literally three minutes, not even, maybe 60 seconds of the yeah. entire laundry process, taking that big bolus of socks and shoving them into <gasps> that drawer. I, I, I have and, to go to therapy because of yep. your laundry and situation. And my unmatched socks bring me joy. There we go. All right. Uh, all of my socks are folded the Marie Kondo way and they are in a little, in a little box in a drawer looking perfect. And this Dr. is the Dr. Romney, Romney has way. a ball of them scattered on her dresser. Which one are you? Are you Dr. Romney? Are you Kyle Kittleson? I want to hear where you fall on the spectrum of orderly <laughs> in the comment section below. You can also watch our entire series on OCPD at medcircle.com. I'm Kyle Kittleson. Remember, however you fold your clothes, you got this. Thanks for watching. Your next step is to go to medcircle.com and finish watching this series. There you can also access other series and get actionable advice and simple explanations. Continue your mental health journey at medcircle.com and I'll see you there.